So honestly, every single day, I find myself trying to figure out new tips and tricks to elevate my look, especially as I get older. So today, I've put together a list of beauty tips and a few accessories for you and me to dabble in so that we can elevate our look. So this video is gonna be in two parts. I'm gonna start with the beauty and then we'll go into accessories. So beauty, honestly guys, the devil is in the details. The trick to looking expensive beauty wise is to be well groomed. And that means everything under the sun, but I'm gonna start with our few major parts. So hair, cause we all have it, we got a lot of it and you can do so much with it. So for a hair look, the trick to looking expensive with your hair is picking a style that is sleek and refined. And that is very like broad. Those words are very, very broad. So really and truly my go-to expensive hairstyle is a pulled back low bun. It is just so classic, so sleek. It really ups the ante of all your looks. And honestly, you can wear a low bun in the daytime and in the nighttime and it, it just goes. Like it's a beautiful, sleek evening look as well. So it's a day to night hairstyle. Um, other ones that are my go-to are my sleek, slick, long hair, like straight hair. I do have to use, and, and this matters, like I said, devil's in the details. I do have to use a lot of like control products so that I can make sure that the frizz and the fluff aren't all there because it matters. It looks poor in pictures. It just, it doesn't look perfect. And you know, it just doesn't look right when I have my cowlick doing whatever it wants to do. I need to slick it down and have that sleek look. You want to elevate your look here. And of course, there are more casual sleek looks, but I feel like a pulled back style is something that you can never go wrong with. I love pulling back my curlier hair when I curl it and I curl my hair often. Um, and pulling out some sideburns and a little bit uh, of hair in the front. Um, so it just doesn't look so Stepford Wife perfect, but it is still a pulled back sleek look. Okay, number two, <sighs> invest in your skin, guys. I honestly feel like the most important and hot tip in your skincare routine is get yourself a dermatologist. Please, please get a dermatologist. Learn about your skin, find out about your skin, see what they recommend. They'll know way more than we know. I am lucky to be doing what I do and I get uh, sent a lot of products to try out and I have regular normal skin and my skin isn't very sensitive to new products so it allows me to try a lot of new products but I always go back to my dermatologist and ask her if she suggests it or if she thinks it's good for my skin or if she doesn't suggest me using something like retinol when I started using retinol I absolutely asked her and honestly your skin matters because guys it's on your face and you can't put a Gucci belt over your skin okay you can't hide it I mean, you can, you can cake out the makeup, but that takes me to tip number three, makeup. Okay, so I mean, we all love a beat face. We do, we do, we, I love an evening beat, beat to the nines face, but that is not for all the time. It, it just truly isn't. And the trick to being expensive is picking minimal makeup. And it matters, like skin matters because you don't have to cake on the makeup if your skin is good. You know so like i said go back to number two invest in your skin okay so minimal makeup i feel like a lot of people misinterpret minimal makeup and they think it's like a no makeup makeup look all the time you could do a lot with minimal makeup and i think that you can do bold looks and still be minimal so on the one hand a minimal look here my example is my go-to everyday face i'm not wearing liner but i am wearing lashes because i have sad excuses for lashes um and a nude lip and this is my day-to-day -day look it looks very clean very refined i'm not even wearing foundation i'm just wearing cover-up and then on the other spectrum this is also a minimal look but it has a bold lip it's a red lip and it also has a cat liner but they're very clean lines it's super refined and my whole look is very clean and refined and it still looks expensive and still is minimal because it's not doing the most if i'm picking a bold lip i'm not doing a whole eye thing plus it's daytime so i don't need to do all that but to each their own to each their own for the days i'm trying to look expensive on other days i do the whole thing tip number four for beauty and this matters especially for me because you guys see on youtube i use my hands so much when i talk so having groomed fingernails matters so so much chips look so bad so so bad like honestly i have been at meetings where my my nails chipped and i'm like 
sitting like this with my hands under my arms, but I can't help using my hands. So I just, in my head, I hate the way it looks. And it's something that is so prominent. You know, people look at your hands all the time when you talk, people look at your jewelry when you're around them. Like it really, really does matter. So a hot tip for you guys, for me is nude colored polishes. So here I have a like, it's Essie's uh, skinny dip. I think so that's like it's like a a sheer white almost with a pink undertone but nude polishes those sheer colored white polishes pinks and, and um, pink undertones those ones are so much more forgiving than if you go with a dark color because when it chips in a darker color it shows so well so much on your nail versus these nude colors kind of blend with your skin blend with your nail and also I feel like the nude colors really elongate your hands and that is extremely elegant you know long fingered people who play the piano I don't play the piano but you wouldn't know with my hands maybe maybe don't come for me don't come for me okay we're moving on to accessories so these three accessories are absolute must to elevate our look guys absolute must so number one is the blanket scarf and specifically a silk blanket scarf and even more specifically an Hermes silk blanket scarf guys I did not know I needed a silk blanket Hermes scarf until very recently but loud I need it and oh my god there's so many options but I'm, I'm, I'm on the lookout for one so yeah holy smokes you can do so much with a silk scarf. It is absolutely crazy. I was on Pinterest and looking at all of these photos, all of these inspos, and you can tie it around over your pea coat, which is stunning. And it just really takes your very boring winter look and turns it super fun, depending on what you have in your scarf. In the silk factor, or satin, whichever way, whichever one you go in, it's, the fabric itself is so luxurious looking already, so the duh you can tuck it into your belt you can wear it to one side so it looks like one side of your coat or blazer has um, a different pattern you can wear it under your under your coat so it pops out under the lapel there's just endless things you can do with the silk the blanket silk silk scarf and even small silk scarves to tie them around it's just a little or tie them around your neck I'm not finishing sentences it's just the little touches that make so much of a difference, especially during the winter months when you can't do too, too much. Okay, number two on my accessories. I think I beat this horse to death, but we're gonna talk about it one more time because I love it so much. And now I can physically show you guys what I do with my brooches during the winter months. I love a brooch so, so much, absolutely 100%. If you don't listen to any other tip in this video, please buy yourself a brooch. It will change your life. So, a brooch is just a stunning gold or silver beautiful addition to your very plain outfit and here i am wearing a very very plain nude outfit beige outfit and i add my brooch and you can wear it in so many ways and it looks so different so first and foremost i'm wearing my brooch on the lapel of my coat um and this is how i i've been wearing this loewe brooch since I bought it, I, I love it wearing it there. I actually leave it on this coat um, in, in my closet, but I've this year I've tried to change it up a bit more. So you wear it on the lapel of your coat, looks stunning. Ups, at, ups the ante, because this is a beautiful coat, but you wouldn't be able to tell because it's a plain beige pea coat. But with the brooch, it's just like, ooh, okay, girl, that is cute. We like that. Number two, the way I wear my scarf is I have it on one side and then I toss it over my one shoulder but because we're wearing such chunky clothes in the winter my my scarf falls down often so fix that with a fashion you add the brooch and pin the two pieces together so it stays and it just looks so cute i love it and you saw i bent over to see if it fell over and it did it so hot tip two in one function and fashion we love to see it and last but not least in this video at least uh i bought a beanie I love a beanie in the winter. You know, I believe in being warm. So I bought a beanie and then I put my Chanel brooch on the beanie head. And how cute are you? How cute are you? It's so adorable. I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. It just ups my whole look a little bit, right? Right? I think so. So, like I said, 
Bible, buy a brooch. Please buy a brooch and show me your brooch. My last tip, and it's something that I actually don't participate in, and I'm going to try my very hardest to start using this tip or this accessory. It is structured brim hats. They look so good. Oh my God, every woman who pulls this off, who wears this and does it, does it so well. Just pulls it off so, so well. It is something to be said about structured pieces. They look more expensive, so don't even try to buy a floppy hat. Please don't. Don't do it. It's the structured hat. Buy the structured hat. They look so good. The felt structured hats, oh my God, just stunning. I love it. It honestly ties the whole look together. It is literally the bow on top of your head. Yeah. So good. And the colors and I just don't have enough good things to say about it. I just think like it's a no brainer. All of these photos, these inspo photos I'm showing you because I don't know how to do it myself yet. I'm working on it. My head's shaped really weird. So I'm working on finding the right hat for my head. But these are just so good. A cherry on top, a bow on top of the gift. Like I am the gift and I am an expensive looking, stunning gift to the world. And also historically, royalty and such wore hats and you still see it today like at um megan markle and prince harry megan and harry their wedding everybody wore the fancy hats at the um horse races and stuff everyone wears fancy hats and back in the day guys do a history lesson everyone wore hats so duh we need to wear fancy hats and I think that the structured brim hats are just so chic and we need it. And also you can probably put your pin on there, your brooch, put your brooch on your hat. Oh my God. See, I'm tying everything together. I'm tying, I'm tying it all together. Anyways, that's it for me guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys got some tips and we are going to collectively be the most expensive looking people in the world. All right. I'll see you guys next video.